I'm really, this looks great, guys. This is, this is a really look, good looking meal. I'm so I uh, stop starting right now. Yeah. I love this sandwich. You need some peanut butter yeah, jelly? Yeah, this is like, I, I, I like, no. you, I love you guys. I love this sandwich. Yeah, I'm happy to be here enjoying this with you. I just love this sandwich. You Damn know. it! You know that we pray before every meal, Leo. How dare you. We're not savages, we're civilized people, damn it! I'm, I'm sorry guys, I should treat the sandwiches more, with more respect. You disgust me sometimes. Filthy. Jesus Christ. Anyways, let's all join our hands in prayer. When our forefathers walked across the deserts of peanut butter back in 1995, they looked for a home, and they found it within our tummies. Amen. These men, all they wanted was to have jelly, jelly with their peanut butter. Amen. And then Jeff, our great Lord Jeff, delivered that peanut butter into their hands, straight into their hands. Amen. Peanut butter and jelly for days. Peanut butter and jelly, all the peanut butter and jelly. So much peanut butter and jelly, it could fill a pool, my brothers. So much peanut butter and jelly, it could fill a school, my brothers. So much peanut butter and jelly, so much it's cool, my brothers. Amen. So I, I ask you today to come with me and join me in this delicious feast of PB&J. Let me tell you the story about how PB&J was created. Back when peanut butter and jelly were just one, one separate, not one separate. <laughs> Jelly decided to take partake in the fruit of the devil. It partook in that fruit. And now, every day we have to eat our peanut butter and jelly together as one. It's to commemorate the sin. It's to commemorate the sin of that filthy whore of jelly. That filthy goober and jelly slut. Sweet baby goober. This thing about it makes me mad. Makes my veins throb. Makes the peanut butter in my system overload. God damn it! Sorry, sorry, folks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Amen.